Hey Kate, it's me, your brother, and her, Hi, Kate. It's your mom, <laughs> and we're just making this to show you how to wrap the ham for Thanksgiving, because apparently you need to know how to do that. Alright, so here you go. I'm going to get your aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. it needs to be <clears throat> the longer aluminum foil. This is really just for show purposes, not actually doing it. And you would want to make six sheets all the same length. You want to take the first three sheets and you want to make a seam. You fold it in about an inch, half an inch. <clears throat> and you take that and fold that in half. It's about a quarter of an inch. And you want to fold it one more time. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to take your other sheet. I'm going to do the same thing. And pull it in about a half inch. Eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Fold it in half again. About a quarter of an inch wide. And then fold it again. Now you want to take all your sheets. You want to stack them together. Now, um, now, just to be clear, there would be six of these normally, right? Yes, yeah, so you two. would normally you would have three of these together and three of these together. But again, this is just showing how to do it. So you want to take your two. Now you've got two stacks. You want to line them up, get the edges as even as you can. You want to grab both of them. You want to. Again, fold them in, fold them in, and then take that last third fold, I'm going to kind of get it right into the center. You want to press it down nice and tight. <clears throat> it's going to make a nice spine or a binding for your foil. And then you just want to gently... Open it up. So, now it's like this. You get your roasting pan. And you lay your foil down inside of it. Kind of make a little basket type. Put it down good. And just for today's <clears throat> purpose, my little package of chicken fingers is going to represent our little ham. I'm going to get it right into the roasting pan in the center. Now it's the time to make your adjustments for width-wise before you pour your mixture in. Once you get your mixture in and pour it over your whole ham, you just want to grab both sides, bring them together. Kind of crimp them down and do the same with your edges. And kind of roll it in. Same thing on the other side, kind of roll it in nice and tight. And that's how you wrap up your ham for your Thanksgiving dinner. That's it. Bye, Kate. Hope that helps.